In the world of paid advertising, remarketing ads are some of the best money that you can spend. As for ROI, these campaigns are normally much better than your normal campaigns. Within Amazon advertising, you can actually create remarketing ads within the sponsored display ad types. But I do feel a lot of sellers are either not running them and taking advantage or not setting them up properly. In this video, I will go over exactly how to set up these high performing campaigns. So if you're looking for ad types that can improve your performance, stay tuned. <laughs> I'm Rick Wong, an Amazon seller and also the founder of Seller Metrics, an Amazon marketing agency. And if you are interested in content such as this one, where we talk about the latest FBA news, tips and hacks, I invite you to subscribe. Okay, so uh, what uh, remarketing campaign or ads basically is, is that these are the ads served to retarget shoppers that have seen your product listing but have not made a purchase. The idea is that shoppers who have already interest in your product by visiting your product display page would more likely to convert. So serving these ads to these like shoppers that have seen it would have better ROI. In theory, this makes a lot of sense because a lot of times shoppers require multiple touch points until they convert and purchase your product. Product. Especially like a high ticket item, right? A lot of times the higher the price the product, the more touch point is required and more time and decision is needed for a customer to be sold on purchasing your product. For example, an automobile, like how many times, you know, a person will need to be served up an ad or known of the brand, known the car before they make a decision to purchase. Okay, so let's get into how to set this up in your Amazon ad console. So first you're gonna, um, very simply, you go go to, right? Uh, create campaign, sponsor display. Okay, so uh, let's just, um, you know, create like a very simple name. So, and then I'm going to call it SD audience. And I'm going to put like a budget of uh, $10 and I'll scale it up as time goes on. Um, so you see like the optimization types. Uh, a lot of times I would actually go for uh, optimized for conversion, but I do suggest that from remarketing, right? Test like multiple optimization strategies out, right? So I know I do it like normally optimization. So let's just try um, optimize for page visits. V and then I'm going to choose the image ad format. Um, so if you have, do have the video, you could also use the video ad format, add an extra um, ad group. I'm going to actually do that. I do have a video on my product. So what I want to advertise for is this one right here. And we want to like remarket customers that have seen our product listing page, but not make a purchase. So how to do that is going to go audience. So what trips a lot of Amazon sellers out is that once you choose audience actually pre-selected for you, right? So these are correct. The views and remarketing. So views and remarketing if you see is that um, so I'm going to show you the details here but a lot of times it has is that you know similar to advertised product um, purchase remarketing so basically these people are, have purchased your product and you want to remarket to them so that does not make any sense for me whatsoever so you want to eliminate this and you see like views remarketing so this one right here um, advertised product look back uh, similar to uh, advertised product so this is not remarketing on your product. So similar to your advertised product. So similar to this product right here, right? So a lot of times when uh, Amazon sellers create a remarketing campaign, they actually target this segment of the audience in which a lot of times in my experience and a lot of like other Amazon PPC managers experience, this particular tar segment actually gives you like much lower ROI and higher a cost, right? So this is not truly remarketing, remarketing to something similar to your product, but not quite remarketing your from the exact product that you're selling. So what I would do is that I would make sure that I also remove this like segment. So I'm going to go to views remarketing. So there's a difference between views remarketing and purchase remarketing. So purchase remarketing is basically remarketing to audience that have purchased your product, right? Uh, we don't want to go for that. We want to go after views remarketing and under views remarketing, we're going to go to advertise product, right? Views remarketing, advertise product. So you can actually see the actual um, tip point right here. Your ads will be shown to shoppers who have previously view the details page of your advertised product, which is this one right here, right? So there's a different look back period. So like you see, like the look back period of 30 days is already added. Fair enough. Again, I don't like to use the suggested pin. I'm going to use like a dollar and then optimize up a time as time goes on. So what I like to do is add multiple look back periods, right? And uh, I'm going to put like $1 as well. So I'm going to put like seven and 14 days. And then maybe going to put like 60 days. And what I like to do is like, I want to tier this. So a lot of times remarketing is more powerful if it's within a more of a condensed time period than like a longer term time period, right? For example, 30 days look back remarketing is uh, definitely much stronger than 60 days. For me, uh, I would not go for 90 days. That might be a little too long. Seven days, 
on the other hand, is stronger than 30 days. So I want to tear this up and basically make a bid for, um, so I'm going to say 125 for seven days. And then for the look back, I'm going to, for 14 days, I'm going to do like a dollar and 10 cents, a dollar for this, and then maybe like uh, 70 cents on the 60 day look back. A lot of times I would only do like um, 30 day look back. I think the chances are if the customer have not purchased your product within like 30 days, the chances are they're probably not going to purchase it at all. So I want to like put like a pretty low bid on like the 60 days. Um, so you could decide to like, you know, put your logo or like headline image. So I'm not going to do any of that. I think this is good as is. And then I'm going to launch. And the great thing without remarketing ads is that you could also create a video remarketing ad as well. Uh, so the remarketing ads for sponsored display will look like this and also look like this. And the video, sometimes it pops up on the sponsored display. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, let's like find a campaign that we actually just created. So I think it should be created now. Uh, hold on. Yeah, right here. This is the one that we created. So we create one for the image and then let's like, create one for the actual video. Uh, I can give you a good example of one that shows the sponsored display remarketing video. So this one, we're also going for page visits. Uh, let's just uh, let's continue to do the, the pace visits, but this one's like a video campaign. So it's going to remarketing video campaign if done right is actually very powerful. Actually, I've seen like uh, a cost up to like 10% while making like a decent amount of sales. So definitely give this a shot. So for videos, normally the conversion rate for videos is much higher. So what I would like advise for is like, you know, give like a higher bid for it. Right. So I'm going to put like for the 30 day segment, I'm going to put like a dollar 25 cents and then I'm going to do like the 14 days and also the seven day segment as well. For 30 add and then yeah my budget is like 10. okay so it's going to tell you like what video to add and then i have like a video right here to choose for more creative assets yeah so and then create and launch and that is how you create your amazon advertising remarketing campaign the right way i also like uh create so in terms of like sponsor display uh there's a lot of like different uh, ad types to use as well not only the remarketing so um, i also create like a very comprehensive video and also like a uh, article on sponsored display um, ad type so i'm gonna link it in the description below as well and uh you know if you want to like learn more about sponsored display other than the sponsored display remarketing i talked about you could like check those out okay so uh again Again, this is like how are you I would uh, set up the remarketing campaigns on Amazon um, you know please give it a try and see if it kind of uh, works for you and if it does you know the performance can be quite amazing uh, but a lot of times you know the performance might not be amazing right off the bat so give it some time and give it some dedicated budget and optimize accordingly lastly if you're an Amazon seller or brand and want to grow your business schedule a call with me with the link on the link below we are an amazon marketing agency that helps our client grow their business profitably until the next video drop happy selling